Hey guys, welcome to another video on my channel and in today's video we are going to be taking a closer look at how to stop or how to counter the Korean robots. So the Korean robots are the Kumiho, the Aichi and the Bogazari. So as many of you know, these robots are now on the live server. Uh, the only way that you can actually get them though is if you win it through opening up chess from the black market. The thing is, not many of us have these robots, so how do you actually counter it if you don't have it? We're going to be taking a look at things like weapons, what weapons I would use in order to take these bots out, but also, you know, if I don't have a dash robot myself, what robots would I use in order to, uh, you know, deliver the damage uh, to these bots? And also, maybe I might give you a couple of tips on, you know, overall gameplay, you know, what I look for um, in terms of, uh, you know, what these robots are doing in order to take them out with. Okay, so first thing we're going to be taking a look at are weapons. So the first weapon that I have selected here is the Orkin weapon. So the Orkin I found actually pretty effective against the Kumiho and the Balkazari. Um, with the Kumiho, although it can dash back and forth, um, you know, if it's within 300 meters, after it has used its dash, there is a period and a window or a window of opportunity where you can actually hit it because it can't dash away and it can't outrun or outdash these rockets, um, you know, if you are close enough. So this weapon can actually do quite a bit of damage. Um, the same thing applies to the Balkazari. Usually what I do is I wait until the Balkazari has used its dash and then, you know, it's moving slowly and then I will hit it with the Orkin weapon. And I'll show you a um, demonstration of that as well uh, when we get uh, into gameplay later on. The next weapon that I'm going to be selecting here, and this weapon is actually very, very important, is the Tehran weapon. So I've actually found this weapon to be very effective at taking out both the Kumiho, the Aichi, and the Balkazari. So all three of them. So if you don't have this weapon, make sure that you load up with it. And it is a workshop weapon. So, you know, everyone has access to workshop points, at least when you get to level 20. If you just got to level 20, make sure that you buy this weapon first. You buy multiples of it because it does so much damage and it's very effective against these bots. Next up, we have the Zeus weapon. So the Zeus, I kind of threw it out there. Um, I personally don't run it, um, but if I had to go up against these Korean robots, I think it would be something that I would consider. On a larger map, such as Springfield, uh, Canyon map, and um, Yamantau winter map, you know, out in the open, these Korean robots, especially the Kumio and the Aichi, they're very vulnerable to the Zeus weapon. So although like the Kumio could, you know, dash back and forth, this weapon is a direct hit weapon, so you can still hit them from 600 meters away and it kind of wears them out. With the Aichi, because it's got an energy shield, it can't actually block this weapon either, so you end up doing damage uh, to the Aichi as well. And I'll show you examples of this as well uh, when we get down to uh, the gameplay. But overall, that kind of covers the three main weapons that I would say uh, work very effectively against these bots and I know personally because when I run uh, the dash robots those are the weapons that I kind of fear the most I know because it wears me out and more often than not it ends up taking out my bots okay in terms of you know what bots would I personally use if I am encountering these Korean robots so I think my number one choice is definitely the Griffin the Griffin is such a versatile bot. It is a silver bot too, so everyone can afford it. So if you don't have a Griffin, make sure that you load up with this uh, because you could run Tehran Magnums, Orkin Panatas as well. Uh, so you can run the Orkin weapon on here. Very effective, very versatile, and you have the jump ability as well. Another possible bot that I would use is the Carnage, only because you can equip it with the Zeus weapon. So if you are thinking of running, like, say, two Zeus, uh, you can run the Carnage. If you have three Zeus, then maybe you know, you could consider the Fury as well. And then um, another one which I see very effectively uh, works in um, high level play or in Champion League at least um, is the Lancelot. So I see a lot of players running uh, this with, you know, either Thunder Tyrants or Thunder Orkins that uh, tends to be uh, the choice uh, for this bot. I've also encountered times when I've actually struggled to take it, um, take this bot out with the Ansel and the Tyrants. So if you haven't or you do have the Lancelot, you may want to consider running that and uh, throwing on Tyrants. And if you have an Ansel, then uh, you could use that uh, to protect you against Splash and uh, whatnot. Um, the other bot which I kind of threw in there, uh, this one, I'm not personally a fan of it, but you know, I did find it somewhat effective in some cases, and that's the Fujin. And I know some players tend to gravitate towards this bot, so I figured I'd throw that in there. Um, this, because you can hold three Orkins or uh, three Tyrants, it actually makes it pretty deadly uh, under the right conditions, but 
in my personal opinion, if I had a choice, I would probably go for the Griffin first. Mostly because it's silver and because it's more versatile. But otherwise, that kind of covers the weapons and the robots. Here are a few examples where I use Orkins to bring down these Korean robots. As you can see here, the Haichi lost its energy shield. Um, it couldn't dash away, so I used Orkins uh, to bring it down. And then the same thing here with the Kumiho. It used its dash. Um, after it used its dash, then I hit it. So in this third example, this Balkazari went across the valley on Springfield map. I waited for it to dash first and then I hit it with Orkins. Okay, so let's take a look at the Tehran weapon. As you can see here, I'm trying to wear down this Balkazari with uh, my Tehrans and Magnums on my Plasma Griffin. And I was able to uh, take him out. Uh, the same thing applied to this Kumiho here, dashing through the center here on Moon map. Uh, he wasn't able to withstand, you know, the power of my Plasma. And then uh, this next clip here you know, taking down a Haichi, and I had to look very carefully, but it is a Haichi and he had his shield down. Um, the plasma weapons were able to go uh, right through his shield and I was able to take him out. And again here, another position on moon map, um, trying to focus down this Balkazari. Uh, you got to keep in mind that the Balkazari, uh, you know, it has a stash ability and has a physical shield, but I was still able to uh, take it out uh, by using cover and uh, my surroundings as a shield and then, um, you know, kind of peeking over the hill and having my Tehrans hit him. Okay, so now that we've looked at the Orkin and the Tehran weapon, you know, let's take a look at the Zeus weapon. So on Canyon map here, I'm hitting uh, this Haichi at the center who's trying to get the beacon and my teammate's helping me out with uh, Tehrans there and he wasn't even able to get the beacon at all. Uh, in this next clip, or actually the next two clips, you can see the Kumiho dashing back and forth and even though it's able to dash back and forth, the Zeus is just too quick and I was able to, uh, you know, take them out or uh, do damage. And then in this final clip here, uh, this is actually a very good example of just how effective the Zeus weapon is at taking down a Haichi. So, the Haichi has an energy shield, but you can see I'm still hitting it because the Zeus weapon bypasses and it goes all the way through. And uh, there's nothing that this Haichi can do except for maybe dash and hide behind cover. Uh, it did get pretty close, it did wear me down, but I had a teammate uh, to help me. And uh, if you take a look at his health, he didn't really have that much health. So I think in the end, I probably would have won, but not by much. But anyways, that kind of sums it up. And uh, just to take a look at some of the weapons again. So make sure that you do focus on the Orkin weapon, the Tehran, and the Zeus. But I think out of all the weapons that I mentioned, the Tehran is probably the most important. So, you know, when you do reach like level 20 or whatever the uh, workshop level is, uh, you know, when you get access to these weapons, make sure that you load up on the Tehran weapon because it's a very, very good weapon. There's a lot of damage and that will help with your silver as well because more damage equals more silver. Okay, so taking a look at some of uh, the bots as well, uh, as I mentioned, you know, the Griffin's a great choice, uh, the Lancelot, uh, the Carnage, and, you know, I threw in the Fujing there as well. Uh, I'm not a fan of it, but I think out of all of these bots, the most, uh, I think, versatile of them is the Griffin, and that's the one that I would choose personally to go for, because it is silver and it is the cheapest. Um, we're going to be taking a look at um, some tips, because at the beginning of this video, I did mention that I was going to be giving away some tips to you guys. So in this first kind of clip, uh, it's kind of a rehash of uh, you know what I showed uh, earlier in this video, but it's always to be patient. So that's gonna be my first tip, be patient, because let the uh, the Korean robot use its dash ability and then you strike it when it's at its weakest point. That's when you know it's on cooldown and it can't move quickly, so make sure you do that. The second tip that I'm gonna be offering you um, tends to be a little bit more on the advanced side. What I usually do is if there is a you know, dashbot hiding behind cover, what I would do is I would actually lock on uh, to that target like you can see I'm doing here. And then I actually place my crossy a little bit to the right side to anticipate him moving and dashing out because that way if, you know, my crossy is already there, I've cut down on the amount of time uh, for me to actually swipe and kind of make that adjustment. So that's, I think, the other tip that I could uh, offer you guys. But anyways, I think that about sums everything up. I hope you guys uh, found this tutorial uh, helpful. Uh, if you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any of my videos or live streams. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.